Here we are at the airport. Thought I'd make a quick video on how to set the takeoff and landing RPM on the NSI engine. Clear prop. And on startup, we like to see it come up over 2,000 RPM. Checking for oil pressure right away. Bring in secondary ignition. RPM goes up slightly. About 2,300 RPM on the tack there. Try not to let it go down below 2,000 hard on the spread. While waiting for it to warm up a little bit, we'll just check to five a second. South of Victoria Airport. Hang gliding in progress. One niner zero zero zero. Switch on the prop power and just check it's working. RPM down a little bit there. The prop pick is controlled in my glass star by a toggle switch that's mounted horizontally beside the throttle. Increasing the pitch decreases the RPM, and decreasing the pitch, moving it to the right, increases the RPM. Pull out a bit. Avoid this float plane. That's not to run into it. It looks like we're doing. There by the shadow. Breaks a bit of a check here. Yep. Seem to work. Put into the wind there for things. So just uh, to set the takeoff RPM, just bring the throttle up. Full RPM. Find it out a little bit to about 5,800 RPM. Now the throttle set for your takeoff. Just check the idle. Idle back down below 20. Don't like to leave it down there very long. Just want to make sure the engine won't stall. Bring it up to about 2,400 RPM. Go through the rest of it. Okay, after we start, we check the alternator's charging. We've got that. We've got our radio on. we got our transponder on standby. Dynon's on. We've got the altimeter set. Strobes are on. We'll just go with the pulsing landing lights here. Radio's on. Ground frequency. Taxi check and the brake check. And with the wind, we're going to back taxi on the runway. Duncan Traffic, Blast or Charlie Gulf, India Sierra Fox, back taxiing on 1-3 for the button of 3-1 for circuit. Yep, nobody there. And then once the RPM is set for takeoff, I did that on my run up there. Just drive it like a fixed pitch prop now. Take her down and on takeoff once we we'll leave the throttle wide open till we uh, reduce power for uh, landing. There in the downwind there, I'll show you how to set the prop for landing. Line it up there. 
to do a pre-flight thing. Seat belts and doors. Controls. Being correct, you can actually see the elevator if you look out there. Radio's on runway and transponder on altimeter. Check that the spot's on. Spot's on and recording. Duncan traffic, last star Charlie Golf India Sierra Fox. Uh, ready to roll 3 1 for circuits. One notch of flap. Wide open throttle. Just around 6,000 RPM for takeoff. Up here. Now we're pretty well clear. I can bring the RPM down. And I just use the prop to do that. Bring it down to about 4,200 RPM. Throttle's still wide open. Ease the flaps off. And for cruising, we're just around 4,000 RPMs, a nice, nice setting. A little bit bumpy up here today. We're just going to stay in the circuit for a minute or two here and show you what we do here. So we, we've got the prop pretty much set for cruise now. And that'll... Uh, let us cruise at around 120 knots once we level out. And then, uh, so to set the prop for uh, landing, uh, cruising along here, downwind, so just find the prop out, take it up to 6,000 RPM, and then just pull the power back. Now we're flying it like a, a, a fixed pitch prop again. Set it up for about uh, 32, 3,400. Pitch up, well, which helps to slow the glass star down, doesn't like slowing down that much. Got it at about 70 knots, first notch of flap. If you pull the flap on a bit faster than that, it's just hard work for you. Finish up with our trim, pretty much full nose up. Brings us about 65, 67 knots. And then probably leave it around that 3,000 RPM, nice and smooth. Check both ignitions are on. Better header tank up there. It's always good to know that there's fuel in there. Sunken traffic, lost our India Sierra Fox. Just about to turn final 3 1. We've got about 60 knots showing now. A little bit low, bring on a little bit of more power. Just a bit more of a headwind here than I thought there was. Second knot of flaps. Bring her on down. We've got her down to about 55 knots an hour, 50. Pull down. Take her right down to the runway.
Stuck in traffic, Las Vegas, Sierra Fox, turning around and back taxi to the button of a 3 1. Now we'll just take her out. We'll go for a little uh, flight around the valley, just see what the cruise speed's like here. On a downwind taxi, we're keeping the stick. A little bit forward here, now that we've got below wind speed, keeping that tail on the ground. We're back taxiing here, we'll set our trim back to the middle of the trim there for the last our takeoff. Got almost no weight on, so we get off pretty quick. Well, we're here, so we'll just check that the prop's set correctly. It should be pretty close because we find it out for landing, but so again, brakes on, bring the power up to full. It's pretty good, 5,600 RPM. There, the prop's set for takeoff. Oil pressure's good. Temperature's fine. Alternator's charging. Our header tank's pretty much full. We can turn on our boost pump. We got our head low header tank warning lights on, so we'll just that on. Okay. The controls, nothing in the way. Chunk of traffic, last star India Sierra Fox, uh, sticking off on uh, 3 1, uh, take a little flight around the valley uh, with a left turnout. So pulling about uh, just under 6,000 RPM. You can take it up to about 64 if you want. Get a bit more power, but we don't really need it today.